Welcome to Canic here. We have a, a Mercedes where the steering angle sensor is faulty and it's triggering a number of warning lights. It's triggering uh, traction control, ABS, stability control, all those things because they all depend on that steering angle sensor. So we're gonna take a look at how you can verify that that's faulty, how you can check. So what you need is a, a diagnostic scanner. Here we have a multi-sister scanner called UCAN-2 and this is um, loaded with uh, software to diagnose uh, various multiple modules on Mercedes-Benz models. So you uh, plug this in into the OBD2 port, it's located underneath the dashboard there. And then you turn on the ignition, don't start the car yet. It'll power on and uh, you're gonna press here, you're gonna press OK. And then you can see the, um, once it goes through automatic uh, search, it finds the VIN number, it finds the model and everything. You could, uh, you can manually select that if you want, but automatic search works better it selects the right model press ok to confirm and then what you want to do is you want to go to um, so under chassis you want to go down to uh, ESP electronic stability program press ok and then here we can read the codes and uh, we can also see how the values from the um, uh, the steering angle sensor directly uh, as we move the steering wheel we should be able to see those values change so press ok on under data stream then go down to uh, sensors press ok again and then scroll down here you can see steering wheel angle in degrees it says 23 as we move the steering wheel that should change it's still staying 23. You can tr uh, start the car if you would like and then move the steering wheel some more. But you can see that that's not changing there. It should be changing. The ignition is on. Uh, you start the engine. It's a little easier, but you can see that number there is stuck at 23. Let's turn it um, on and off there. Let's press escape, let's go back, let's look at the codes stored in this module. Remember we're in the stability control uh, module, press OK to read the codes. And we should have a full code that points to the bad steering angle sensor. As you saw there, the, the values weren't changing. So uh, there is a no communication received. Um, a lot of times this no communication are sometimes caused by low voltage, low va battery voltage. So. Uh, no communication and what you could do is you can see here we have five codes um, you can clear them and then you can come back here read the codes again and you'll see what codes come back because those that haven't been issues that haven't been fixed they're going to come right back up so uh, you can see there there's a internal fault in the component and 49 sting angle sensor so uh, you can see that even if we try to clear those codes that's going to come right back up uh, steering column module control unit issues again more uh, codes pointing to a bad steering angle sensor and module so we're going to replace that again we can try clearing these codes erase codes but erasing codes without fixing the issue it's not going to erase the codes right so let's turn off the ignition turn it back on let's go read the codes so the ones where um, you can see here um, only one of one so steering steering angle sensor is still an active code because that wasn't able to be erased that's an issue that needs to be addressed we do have another tutorial on how to replace the steering angle sensor on, on this vehicle so look up on that if you need help with this that procedure that's it thank you for watching bye